Hey, what is going on everybody? Crispy here. Today is actually going to be an interesting video because we're actually going to be doing machine learning today. It's also including Scratch. So machine learning is um, an application of in artificial intelligence where basically you can make it recognize text, make it recognize numbers, images, sounds, and y you make them smarter. Like you're making machines smarter and smarter. So you're also doing coding in this. You can do it either in Python or Scratch, or you can also use App Inventor. So the URL is machine, oh, machine learning for kids.co.uk. It's not exactly for kids. Adults can also use it too. So just click enter. So, go to your projects. It's not going to ask you to create an account as usual, but if you already have an account, then just log in. So, now then you'll see this page. So, you're going to click on go to your projects. So, basically what we're going to be making today is that, like, we're going to actually make it turn on the light or or off by recognizing text. So, basically, you're like talking to the machine and like you can say I feel like it's dark in here or um, I w um, please turn the light off so you're basically talking in human language to a machine and making it understand human language so you have to click on this button add a new project and this you don't have to worry about so project name is gonna be light on and off and it's going to be recognizing text. In the next video, we'll be doing recognizing numbers. And trust me, it's going to be awesome. So, language is English. And then you click create. So, now we're going to double click on this. And um, we're going to make it train now. So, we're going to train. What we're going to be doing in training is that we're going to be adding two labels one label will be on and one label will be off and inside the labels we'll be adding examples of the statements like what statement means off and what statement means on so let's go ahead and click on train and now you can see you have this page click on the plus button right on the right to add your first bucket so we're gonna add a new label and we're gonna type in on so we're going to add an example of on, turn on the light. So that's one example. And also you don't have to do like a lot because we're going to actually train it to. So it's going to become smarter. So let's go ahead and add more examples. All right. So those are all of my examples for on. The more you examples you add, the better. So let's go ahead and now do the off label. So... Let me just, I'm just going to copy all of these and make the changes to each of them and paste them. So go ahead and take, make a new label, call it off. All right, so those are the labels for off. So now we're going to go back to the project and now we're going to click on make. So you can make it in Python, you can make it in Scratch, you can also make it in App Inventor. So let's go ahead and scratch. And you can see it says you haven't trained machine learning model yet so you're gonna go ahead and click train one now and you, you may see that there's you don't see this here that's because you have to have more than five um, examples in a label so let's go ahead and train a new machine learning model so you may see that if you're new to machine learning you may see that it's going to ask you for a key, so I'll show you where to get that key from in this. So first, what you have to do is that, so let me just go get to the preview. All right, so, so first you have to go to cloud.ibm.com, um, create an account and, as usual, or if you already have one. So then you have to create cred credentials for the for text projects and then next you have to type in assistant and you have to select 
Watson Assistant. And then um, we're going to create, select the region. Uh, you can actually get it for free, but if you get it for free and you don't use it for 30 days, it's going to get deleted. So make sure to use it often and but otherwise you you can get it again so it's not really a big deal so and next oh this is all of the pricing and then you go ahead you copy the API key so you copy the API key and then um where is that page and then you have to paste it in there so let's go ahead and go back to it and as you can see it's done so let's go ahead and test it so basically why we have to train it is that even though you type in something that is not an example in the label it will still understand it so let's go ahead and say I feel feel like it's 12 a.m recognizes on with 100 percent confidence you may see that it doesn't sometimes it's not with 100 percent confidence but that's that's okay because as long as it it works so that's okay and what about pm off with 63 confidence that is okay so and now let's go back to project and now let's make so scratch and now you can see you don't see that you haven't trained a machine learning model. So let's go ahead, open Scratch 3. Okay, so now don't panic that you're seeing um, somebody else's account. So it's not really a big deal because you can't actually share it or save as a copy. So anyways, so what basically we're going to be doing now is that it's going to ask whether you want it we're gonna make it ask whether you want it to be on or off so first we have to paint our um, light sprite so we're gonna call this light and let's go to costumes so let's just delete that alright so we made the costumes this is what off looks like this is what on looks like so now let's go to the code so first we're gonna add a when flag clicked and when the flag is clicked, we want it to switch the costume to off first. And then ask whether if we want the light to be on or off. So would would you like to would you like the light on to be on or off? And then add two if statements because what we're going to put in the if statement little so, um, input is that we're going to put if recognize text answer, we're going to put answer block label is equal to either on or off. So if it's equal to on, switch costume to on. And if it's equal to off, then switch costume to off. So let's go ahead and add an equals. So if recognize text is equal to on let's just duplicate it so we can also get the off label so answer so switch costume to off if it's off the label and if it's on label then switch costume to on so let's go ahead and test it out so on there you go it works it turned on if we said on off there you go it said it set it to off light off or on please let's actually see if it works with if we say please oh wow it actually um works so let's let's try it's dark in here all right it turned it off Let, um, light is shining 
in my eyes. Oh wow, it actually turned turned it off. You can see that actually maybe if you didn't add that then it's to your as an example to your label it would work. That's why you have to add more examples. Like adding hundreds of them is incredibly awesome. Like fantastic because your machine will never ever have a, have a problem with that. It will like if you say please or no thank you or it will work perfect. So that's basically today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to um, subscribe and comment down below what you would like to learn in future videos. Hit the thumbs up and have a nice day.